Welcome! FNOME is a Realme GT2 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. Now, let's get started by opening up our settings. And we're going to navigate first to the wallpaper and style, which will give us access to a bunch of customization for this device. So we have things like wallpaper and always on display, but then we have more interesting things like fonts and icons. So if you have some kind of icon packs installed, they will be visible right here. You can change them. And you also have additional settings like shrinking them or making them bigger if you want to, uh, making a more uniform icon art or, for instance, hiding the names if you don't want to see them. Now, going back, we also have um, colors. This will allow you to change the colors of these toggles right here. So there are several pre-made ones and we also have one that I personally like which is the one that is based on wallpaper. So depending on like what paper, wallpaper you have and what colors that wallpaper has, it will adapt uh, several different colors from that wallpaper to your general theme of like different colors here. So that's pretty nice. And obviously we also have a couple additional settings like the uh, fingerprint animation or edge lighting and so on. So you can fiddle around here and see what we want to change and change it to your liking. Now moving on to the next thing, it's going to be the dark mode. Now here we have the light and dark mode as a switch, but we also have a schedule mode for it. So if you enable this, it will switch from uh, light to dark mode based on time of day. So it's sunset to sunrise and I'm pretty sure it should already change. Weird that it didn't. Oh, it starts at 10, not 8. Okay, so I think that's the default timer for the sunset to sunrise, but uh, you can also, uh, in a custom one, you can actually change the timer, while on the pre-made one, you well, obviously can't. So what this will do is change from light mode to dark mode at 10 p.m. and then switch back to light mode at 6 a.m. So I personally do like this myself. Just because during the night time I prefer my display in night mode or in dark mode while during the daytime, uh, especially when you're going outside, a light mode I think is a little bit better to see, especially if your display doesn't get too bright. Now moving on, we have a couple image enhancements options in here in the display section. So we have the image sharpener. Now it might be hard to see this on camera, but you look at this image on your end if you at least closer you'll see that this B on at least the left side is a little bit pixelated while on the right side is a little bit sharper now this is kind of I believe just cheating a little bit because the resolutions of these two images uh, are completely different image sharpening just sharpens it as, as the name would imply this is just like the comparison is it's of an image upscaling, which is a completely different thing. Uh, but I guess it might just give you a little bit of a understanding. Uh, still, you can enable to see if it improves some of your content. Uh, just be aware that it will consume a little bit more of your battery life just because it for, for the sharpening to take effect, uh, which actually saying that it actually might be upscaling it, not sharpening it because it will need processing power to uh, to actually you know, improve the image, which sharpening shouldn't really be taking that much, almost nothing. So there's a chance that it actually upscales instead of like sharpening it. Anyway, moving on uh, further, we have a video color enhancer. Uh, so again, two images to compare to, and this one has the enhanced, this one is not enhanced, and it just makes it a little bit brighter and more vibrant, a little bit more pleasant to look at. Now, one more thing to keep in mind, this, uh, basically uh, as an HDR to uh, or SDR to HDR technology video color gamut uh, for superb visual whatever so basically just an explanation uh, but I believe this only functions with video so yeah then moving further we also have video motion enhancer so this one should improve just how smooth the video runs again just as every other of these uh, enhancements it will consume more of your battery and then lastly we have the brighter HDR video mode so this will increase the screen brightness uh, when it detects uh, some kind of HDR content being played on the screen uh, so you might have a little bit better experience watching some kind of HDR videos with this enabled where the bright areas that's supposed to be bright are even brighter while the dark areas still stay uh, dark just because this is 
if I remember correctly, an AMOLED display. Now, moving on to next option, it's going to be the full screen display or full screen for apps. Now, typically, I probably wouldn't really include this, but recently, at least for me, I have been finding usage for this. So what it allows you to do, uh, because by default, some apps are just kind of uh, made a little bit garbage. It allows you to set how the application is being shown on a display. So I'm just going to give you an example. I have downloaded this because I know for a fact that this doesn't uh, work correctly. So it's the uh, Steam, Steam Link application. When you open it up, once it loads up, you'll see it creates this massive black bar at the top to hide camera. Technically, this should be in full screen, which we should, should have this in full screen. And going in here, if we scroll down to uh, Steam Link, there we go, it's auto adapt, but it's not full screen as you obviously seen. So we can literally force it into uh, showing the front camera, which is the equivalent of just having it in full screen. And now if we flip back to this, we'll need to reload. And voila, it now accommodates the entire screen. Which obviously for content like gaming uh, through Steam Link, that's a really nice thing. You'll have a little bit more content visible on this display, uh, giving you a little bit, just a several percent more immersive experience on the device. Now, moving on to uh, last thing that I wanted to show is the uh, options for gesture navigation. Now, if you use gesture navigation, that will work for you. If you don't, uh, obviously this does not apply to you, but you can enable it just to test it around. So let's go back into the settings. We're gonna scroll down to additional settings and system navigation. And just, if you wanna check it out, just toggle on gestures. And here we have hide the gesture bar, uh, guide bar, which basically removes this bar at the bottom. You can see it's there and it's gone. And just gives you a much cleaner look to your device. This is just purely aesthetics, but I personally like it, so I decided to include it. Now, with this being said, this would conclude the video, so if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.